lovely people welcome back to my channel i hope you are enjoying the videos that i am uploading regularly so today we are painting a common house plant in watercolor monstera i love this plant the material list would be given in the description box below but you can use whatever material art supplies that you have at home just make sure that you're using watercolors on a watercolor paper and for a brush pick up anything between 6 8 number round brush and you should be good to go this one i'm painting in a loose style mainly foliage it's a monstera plant in a pot that's how we are going about it I'm doing a series of watercolor house plants. So please stay tuned in for more house plants. If you enjoy watercolor florals, I have uploaded a series of florals in my channel. Please do check out. Please do let me know in the comment box below what other tutorials you would like me to do on this channel. a sap green color and i'm using it quite diluted to draw out the first shapes and i'm doing it as you can see in a very loose style and uh, when you try to paint it you can always vary the shape of the leaves because in nature leaves do occur in various shapes so we don't have to be very rigid about the shape of the leaf that is coming out but yes uh, in between we have left out few gaps that's what makes a monstera leaf very beautiful I have speeded up the video 2x so that you can watch the video comfortably. For the leaf that is kind of on the back side, I am using a darker green. This one I mixed by adding a little bit of blue to the sap green that I was already using for the leaves that are facing us. I'm using a darker green color wherever the dark greens are seen 
uh, from the gaps in the front leaves if you see the monstera leaf has these you know kind of cutouts so through those leaves we are able to see the leaf that is on the back side so that's why i'm giving you giving a little bit of uh, dark green color uh, that's kind of showing the back side green through the gaps so that's what i'm painting right now These are just some more leaves that are kind of seen partially. I have toned down the color of these leaves by touching a little bit of water with my brush which already was holding the darker green color. Now let's paint the pot or the planter that's holding the plant. Again, I'm painting this freehand in a loose style. You can feel free to just outline in a pencil first before going ahead with the brush with color. I'm using a little bit of brown and black from my palette to create the color for the pot. While painting, I'm going to ensure that I leave a little bit of white space in between and uh, kind of texturing it and not making the whole thing a flat brown color. So just see my brush strokes and try to make it in a again it's a loose style you can do it in whatever manner suits you Now I want to add another layer of color on these leaves just to give the leaves a little more dimension and depth. The initial first layer was a very light green and now on top of it I will just give uh, sort of colors so that 
some areas are looking dark and some are left out and looking a little light so that's how we are going about these leaves I'm just creating a little bit of surface below the planter it just anchors down the planter I have used a little bit of black color just below the pot then just smear around the area with the same brush which I have dipped in water that gives a nice lovely surface on which the planter is now sitting watercolor monstera plant until next video stay high on art <music>